Hi, this is Alice from FutureGirl.com and we're going to make a Starling handbag. I've got some worsted weight cotton yarn, my 4.5 millimeter hook with my snazzy blue comfort cushion thing, and some paperclip stitch markers. You can get the pattern for free for the Starling handbag off my website. I'm going to make a small handbag and the first thing that you do to make a starling is your foundation row and the small has 19 foundation single crochet stitches. After I do the first three, I always like to mark the top and the bottom of the first one because we're going to need to know where the top and the bottom of the first foundation single crochet is later. I find it easier to mark the top and bottom after I've done a couple. It's kind of just a big mob of yarn after, <laughs> after you make just one. I have a tutorial for the foundation single crochet on my website. If you'd like to learn, it's a, um, it's a photo and video tutorial. So depending on what what way you learn, because I know some people think the video is easier and some people think it's easier to learn from looking at the text and the pictures. But I know it looks a little complicated, but it's not complicated. It's super easy and it's really useful. Like now. Alright, let's see how many we've done so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Now I'm going to mark the top of number 19 and the bottom of number 19. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn everything clockwise. And now I'm going to put a single crochet in the top of foundation single crochet number 19. I'm going to move my stitch marker up to the single crochet and then do one single crochet in each of the foundation stitches across. I rely on stitch markers quite a bit. I, I really do need them to um, remind me when to do stuff, especially if I let my mind wander, which is really easy when you're just doing a bunch of single crochets in the Starling handbag. They're also really good for learning because I think it helps you recognize stitches after a while. You, you learn what things look like because you get the positive reinforcement of the stitch marker saying, yeah, that is, that is exactly what you thought it was. And now we're at foundation single crochet number one. In the top, we're going to make our single crochet. Move our stitch marker up to the single crochet we just made. To go across this end, we're going to make a chain. I take this little string and I'm going to tuck it to the back and then make a single crochet in the bottom of the first foundation single crochet, which we marked with a stitch marker earlier. I'm going to move my stitch marker up to the single crochet. I know it looks a little weird down here to you when you're making it and um, and it is a little weird right now, but you'll see after a couple rows that uh, everything's okay and it works out pretty good. We're just going to keep going across the bottom of the foundation row, making one single crochet in each of the foundation bottoms. Oh, how do you like the theme song? <laughs> it's pretty awesome, huh? My favorite part is the little sparkles at the end. All 
right and now we're at foundation single crochet number 19 going to make our single crochet in the bottom of that stitch move our stitch marker up and on this end we did a chain to go across on this end to mirror that we're going to do a slip stitch to the very first single crochet of the row insert your hook into the first single crochet yarn over pull through that stitch pull through the loop on the hook I kind of messed up that stitch marker. Okay, still leaving that in the first single crochet and then chain one. I don't want to confuse you. You don't, you don't normally have to move this. I just had it folded back there. So now we are done with the foundation row and the row number one of the bottom of our back. And in the next episode, we'll do row two. See you then.